And what we do aboard the International Space Station, a lot of things are, are helpful for, to life uh, below uh, planet Earth. The way that we make our uh, solar energy here, how we recycle our water, all these things will be useful to uh, life on planet Earth. Over. Yeah, our present mission right now, we have three people aboard the International Space Station. When we're done with Expedition 18, we hope the space station will be certified for six people. With six people up here, uh, we will be able to uh, get a lot more science done and do our research properly. Over. We have huge solar arrays outside, and the, solar, and the space station runs purely on solar power. So that we run about 50 kilowatts, and uh, our next shuttle mission, we will get even more solar power. Over. That's a good question. Uh, so far aboard the ISS, since we are close to the Earth, we are protected by the Earth's magnetism, so we don't get so much radiation. But we are studying the effects of radiation on the body, so that when we go to the Moon or Mars, we understand it and can protect. Over. Yeah, the problem with the uh, oncoming meteorites and space debris, we have a, a two-part plan. The big pieces that are coming to us, we can see them from the ground. We have the, the radars on the ground can protect us. So if we see something big coming, we move out of the way. The little things, we have armor on our space station, and that protects us. Over. Yes, uh, on this mission we have uh, professional astronauts uh, from different countries. Yuri is from Russia, me and Sandy are from the uh, United States. Soon there will be uh, Koichi, he's from Japan. Uh, we all are professional astronauts, meaning we've gone through our training. We uh, have, are, are in excellent health, and uh, we've trained a long time for these missions. Uh, myself, I trained four years to be up here. Over. Uh, liftoff is a very special time, especially the very first liftoff. You know, I wasn't nervous. I was very excited because it was my dream coming true. I was able to finally go into space, and it was so exciting. Over. Uh, even though uh, when we go around the planet 16 times a day, we see 16 sunrises, 16 sunsets, uh, we don't use that to, to, uh, to keep our time. We have computers everywhere, and our schedule is on the computer, and we're always looking at uh, we're always looking at the times so that we can make sure we stay on our schedule. It's very uh, very busy. Over. Yeah, we can't bring up very many personal belongings. We can bring up just a few small things, but uh, all the important things like uh, our music and our, our pictures from our families and friends, we can keep on a computer. I myself have over 40 electronic books on the computer. Over. Yeah, we don't have very much room for our personal belongings, and uh, we're also very busy sometimes, uh, so we don't spend uh, too much uh, free time, but when we do, we like to look out the window. Over. Yes, uh, we, first we have to be very healthy to even get up here, uh, so most of us will not get ill. But if we do get ill, we have uh, medicine aboard the space station. Uh, we also have access to doctors, and they can, uh, we can call them, and they can tell us what to do. And on the very worst case, we can come back home on our rescue lifeboat, which is the Russian Soyuz. Over. Yes, that's a very good question. We do not know the answer because we haven't stayed in space for too long, but we can see the general trends that we lose our muscles, we lose uh, our bone mass. So every day we exercise for two hours. In fact, now we even have a new exercise machine and we think that will help us be able to stay in space for a long time. Over. Yeah, we go around the Earth at 26,000 kilometers per hour. That is super fast. That is faster than the fastest uh, Formula One car or faster than the fastest train. So we go around uh, the Earth 16 times each 24-hour uh, period. We see 16 sunrises, 16 sunsets. Over.
Yeah, we uh, spend a lot of time training for just such emergencies. Uh, for example, on, for fires, we have fire extinguishers. Or other things that we worry about, if we got a hole inside the space station and our atmosphere was leaking out, or if uh, we get some kind of toxic uh, gas from an experiment or from a uh, or from our our cooling system, which has a lot of ammonia in it. So we practice these experiments. Uh, we practice these uh, emergency exercises. But so far, we've been very lucky and very careful not to need to to use that practice. Over. Yeah, sleeping in space is so much fun because you're just floating. Uh, I put my sleeping bag on the wall of my uh, sleeping quarters, and I just float there and sleep on air. It's very comfortable. Over. Yeah, that's probably one of the toughest things to do up here. Uh, we don't use very much water. We have some special shampoos that uh, don't need too much water. Uh, but uh, it's very difficult to wash your hair and to uh, let it dry over here. Over. It depends. Some days we do a lot of experiments, and some days we have to uh, take uh, other care of our space station, uh, like uh, to build some new parts to it or something like that. So, uh, but every week we look back and, and uh, look how much science we accomplish, and it's quite a bit. Over. You know, that's a very good question. My colleagues and I, my, my crew, we have uh, trained together for a long time, so we know each other pretty well. But I can say very much that it's very special to be up aboard in space. There are seven billion people on the planet and only three outside the planet, and that's us. And uh, we're very glad and happy to fly together. Over. You might think this is funny, but I think my most important experience in the ISS is the chance to talk to the school children across the world. And uh, it's very important to share this great experience flying in space. This was my dream since I was a child, and now I'm up here flying and living my dream. And I want to encourage everybody out there to follow your dreams and to work hard for them. And uh, you never know, it will come true. Over. Yeah, you know, the, it's difficult for mankind to uh, to do things together. Sometimes uh, we uh, we uh, right now we haven't even really left our planet. There's only three of us up here, seven billion of uh, you down there. So we want to go to the moon, and then uh, after moon we can go to Mars, and then someday leave our solar system. And that's why I like the International Space Station. Germany is a very important part, as well as Holland. And uh, everybody is uh, is working together, 15 nations working together, and that's something that human beings are very good at right now, is uh, working together for something constructive. And I'm very proud of the European Space Agency, as well as NASA, the Russian Space Agency, everybody working together on this common goal of the International Space Station. Over. And this is NA1SS, NA1SS uh, or the zero or Oscar Romeo 4 ISS, and we are uh, saying goodbye to the, our friends in Germany, and I uh, hope you enjoyed our contact today. Over.